the HV Tech Podcast. Hello and welcome to today's HV Tech Podcast. My name is Ralph and I'm Senior Specialist for Sales Enablement at HV. Today's topic is, do you know what the difference between internal and external gear pumps is and what the resulting fields of application are? To answer this very interesting question for us, I've invited my guest Ahmed. Ahmed is Key Market Manager for Stationary Applications, and I'm sure he has a few things to say about this interesting topic. Ahmed, a pleasure to see you again. Thank you, Ralph, for inviting me, and happy to be here with you today. Well, great. Then let's get started. Now, pumps are one of the most famous hydraulic components in hydraulic circuits. Can you quickly explain what the term pump means and why it is a vital part in hydraulics? Yes, sure. Um, a pump is the energy source when it comes to hydraulic circuits. Mm -hmm. um, the pump has one um, duty or uh, one task is to increase the um, energy level um, inside um, uh, a fluid. Okay. So, and we can see this through the, the pressure and the volume flow rate, the increase in the volume flow rate of um, a certain fluid. Mm -hmm. And this means that the pump has transferred the electrical energy, which was fed to the motor, to hydraulic energy, which we can see through the fluid. Okay. Now, there are diverse types of pumps. Can you give us a brief introduction regarding these? Yes, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of different types when you uh, um, search for the different types of pumps. Mm -hmm. But I would like to take the two main um, um, categories or factors or how to say it, uh, the two main categories of, of the pumps. Mm -hmm. We have the displacement, uh, positive displacement pump and the non-positive displacement pump. Okay. We are concerned more with the first type, which is the positive displacement pump, because mm -hmm. this is the mainly used one for the industrial applications. Right. Uh, this type of pump can reach higher pressures, mm -hmm. up to 700 bar, like the ready piston pump, which we offer by Harvey. And this is which what we're going to discuss more uh, in the next questions. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you know the questions already. <laughs> <laughs> so the pumps used in your market are the positive uh, displacement pumps. Now, what are the types of these pumps? In other words, what kind of pumps are used in your applications? Yes. Um, as we said that we have some applications which can reach up to 700 uh, bars. Mm -hmm. And here, the ready piston pumps are the best solution or the best option. Mm -hmm. When it comes to applications in the industrial field where, where we want to reach 100, 200 bars, then the external gear pump is a very good uh, option also. Okay. Um, if you um, go for machines like the press brakes, if you um, hear the podcast about the press brakes, uh, you see that these kind of machines, they want to reach 320 bars. Mm -hmm. And here, antenna gear pumps. Uh, can be a very good uh, possibility or option for this kind of machines. Okay, makes sense. Now, uh, so there are different types of gear pumps, as you said, the external and the internal gear pump. Yes. Can you give us some ideas regarding what the difference is between those two? There's, there are a lot of differences, but mm -hmm. I will not, in this podcast, I will not go deeply in the technical and the design matters, right. because you can find on the internet different videos which are describing the difference between the two pumps when it comes to the design. Mm -hmm. But what I can briefly say that from the name alone, mm -hmm. you can um, understand how the two uh, gears from the pumps are meshing together. Right. One is external and the other one is internal. Mm -hmm. What I want to explain uh, is uh, the difference in applying both types in different mm -hmm. uh, applications in the industrial field. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, I think, would be much more uh, interesting and can be explained more uh, through the podcast. Yeah, perfect. Uh, then let's get exactly into that topic. Uh, you mentioned that there are different criteria according to which you choose. So uh, why don't you tell us more about that? Sure. Um, as you said, there are different criteria. But mm -hmm. let's start with one of uh, the main criteria which we are asked um, in the market. Um, some of the customers do want to have a very um, silent pump. Mm -hmm. There are some machines that are supposed to have some kind of um, noise level. Right. And for these kind of machines, we will um, usually um, uh, recommend the antenna gear pumps. Mm -hmm. The antenna gear pumps, they have less tolerances, mm -hmm. and then they have less pulsations. Right. And that's why they have also less noise level. Mm -hmm. And in this, when it comes to noise, antenna gear pump can be um, a very good option. 
Okay. What about the uh, pressures? Are there different pressure ranges uh, between these two pumps that we need to consider? Definitely, yes, definitely. So, um, as we said before, if you want to reach 700 bar, mm -hmm. which is a very, very high pressure, right. the radio piston pumps can be a, um, um, the best option or the best solution for this kind of mm -hmm. uh, applications. Um, on the other side, as we said, also for the extender or, or for the extender gear pump, we can reach 200 bars. Mm -hmm. And for the turning gear pumps, we can reach up to 320 bars. Wow. But mm -hmm. it's not only the pressure which decides which pump we're going to choose. Mm -hmm. We have always to look at the, the pressure volume flow rate curve, which mm -hmm. we call the PQ um, um, curve. Yes. So we say a characteristic curve. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll try to find a pump which can hold pressure through um, um, a long uh, um, curve of volume flow rate. Mm -hmm. So it's not only the pressure, it's this other, um, how, how the pump is um, working with different um, speeds. Yes. And this kind of trade off why we choose a pump, not another. Okay. Um, now, what about servicing these pumps? If something should go wrong, which we of course always hope it doesn't, <laughs> um, can you tell us something about the servicing? Yes, definitely. Uh, this is also a very good question because um, service is a very um, main topic when we um, commission a new project. Mm -hmm. Some of the customers, they come to us and they ask uh, if uh, they have, could have some kind of freedom when it comes to service. Then the external gear pumps are the right pump for them. Mm -hmm. External gear pump, they have not this much of tight tolerances. Yes. So the customer itself can open the pump, repair it and mm -hmm. mount it again. Yes. And this is not um, a, um, available or uh, much easier when it comes to in, uh, uh, internal gear pumps. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to service, external gear pumps are much more service friendlier, so, so to say. Okay, very good. Now you've talked a lot of different criteria here, but let's not forget one of the most important ones and that's price. Yes. Can you tell us something about that? Yes, definitely. Um, I think also the public or the if someone is listening to the to the podcast right now, he would have guessed which pump is uh, much more from the price, uh, much more expensive, which is the internal gear pumps. Mm -hmm. and maybe I would take this chance and give a summary about the difference between two pumps uh, when it comes yes, to please. the applications. Please. The internal gear pumps, we say is much more expensive because it has more tight tolerances, mm -hmm. less pulsations and vibrations, mm -hmm. and it's much more um, uh, silent. Yes. On the other side, also the internal gear pumps can uh, start to build pressures with a very small or very um, uh, low um, uh, rotations. Mm -hmm. On the extended gear pump, because they have um, higher tolerances inside the pump, right. they need much more um, rotation to build up the pressure. Mm -hmm. And also has much more vibrations and pulsations than the, the, the internal gear pumps. And that's why the extended gear pumps are, are much more, um, not that much expensive as the internal gear pumps. Mm -hmm. Interesting, very interesting, good summary. So how do you see the market developing, especially for these two types of pumps in the future? Yes, As generally the, 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 the market is developing very fast. Mm -hmm. When you see in the market, you find some kind of uh, extended gear pumps, uh, manufacturers that are trying to produce a pump which is uh, much more uh, quieter and silent mm -hmm. than, than the normal extended gear pumps on the right. market. On the other side, the internal gear pumps, um, manufacturers are trying to produce a much more economic variant from the internal gear pumps. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can see that the market is in a, um, a steady or in a, in a continuous um, um, uh, development. Yes. And But at the end of the day, this is also uh, goes to the benefit of the end customer and the market, which is a good thing. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this has been a very interesting topic and uh, I appreciate your quick and brief introduction into this uh, topic. Um, any final words for our audience uh, in regards to the pumps? I would say thank you very much for listening and hope to see you by the next Harvey podcast. And thank you for my part also. Um, if you have any suggestions for future podcasts, then please write us an email to podcast at And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>